Today, we're going to learn English with Tom Cruise, and we are starting right now. What's up, guys, and how's it going? Welcome to Talk Speak English, the English channel that helps you speak English with confidence. Now, today, we're going to look at an interview with Tom Cruise, and we are going to learn some new phrases and vocabulary. Without further ado, let's get to it. There are many factors, and obviously, we talk them through very carefully. You know, when I go to do something like this, I'm not someone who does it on a whim. I'm very meticulous on how I prepare uh, physically, mentally, uh, with everyone, the whole team, and there's tons of briefings. And I really create a team environment, and one that I push for excellence. But obviously, what we're doing is extreme. And all of us know it, and all of us are very respectful of that, and don't take it for granted. It's definitely ch challenged all of us. I mean, these skydivers that I was diving with also, they all had thousands and thousands of jumps. I didn't. And it's something that we, none of us took for granted. And, and uh, every jump, I'm, I was looking to, how do I improve my skill? What do I do? You know, how can I do it better? Uh, so all of that, you know, we, we had to keep in mind. Once we got that last take, that was a wrap. We finished the movie. And, and we don't get a chance to come back and get it again. So I just, McHugh and me, we just looked it over and called the crew together and showed them the take. And, you know, we were just all there. It was like we all made the decision together. <laughs> and, and you could just see, you know, uh, when we finally said, you know, this is the take, there was just, everyone was so excited and so proud of what we all accomplished. And I think that, it's, that, is, that is the greatest feeling and why I think I'm addicted to movies. It is, it is something where you're working with enormously talented people in every department um, that want to entertain that audience. They all love movies and they're using all of their skills to try to create something for, for an audience and uh, make something that they can feel proud of, you know. And when that moment happens, we're all, it's just, it's amazing. It's an amazing feeling and one, one that you don't uh, ever forget. There are many factors and obviously we talk them through very carefully. You know, when I go to do something like this, I'm not someone who does it on a whim. On a whim is an English idiom which means to do something based on a sudden desire or idea, often without careful planning. You know, when I go to do something like this, I'm not someone who does it on a whim. By saying he's not someone who does something on a whim, it means that he always thinks about his decisions and doesn't do things suddenly. I've no compunction about sending you to your death, but I won't do it on a whim. You let the enemy walk in and take it on a whim. Always you cast a poor reflection on me. Obviously, we talk them through very carefully. You know, when I go to do something like this, I'm not someone who does it on a whim. I'm very meticulous on how I prepare uh, physically, mentally, uh, with everyone, the whole team, and there's tons of briefings. And So a ton is an informal noun in English. And when we say tons of something, it means that there is a large number or amount of something. And there's tons of briefings. A briefing is a meeting for giving information or instruction. So in this context, Tom Cruise is saying there are a lot of meetings before filming. And along with making us legit comes cash. Tons of it. I mean, what do you think we're doing out here in the middle of the desert? It's all this money. Did you ever collect anything, Dale? Boy, don't get me going on this. Oh, what do I collect? Yeah. Yeah. Tons yeah. of stuff. Yeah. I mean, like, the Brown like yeah. new Beanie Babies, which makes no yeah, sense. Battle battle. What's up, guys? How's it going? I hope you're enjoying the video and you're learning lots of new phrases and vocabulary. Now, don't forget, if you're new here and you want to learn how to speak English with confidence, why not start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything? I'm very meticulous on how I prepare uh, physically, mentally, uh, with everyone, the whole team, and there's tons of briefings, and I really create a team environment, and one that I push for excellence. But obviously what we're doing is extreme, 
and all of us know it and all of us are very respectful of that and don't take it for granted. To take something or someone for granted is a phrase which means to give little attention to something or to underestimate the value of something. All of us know it and all of us are very respectful of that and don't take it for granted. To not take something or someone for granted means that you think about it very seriously and respectfully. <laughs> I just, I can't believe you did all this. Well, you know, it's easy to take each other for granted and I never want to do that to you. Because... It's where you come to get your few precious minutes of fresh air and sunlight. Do you understand me? Mm, fresh air. How many times did I breathe in clean air, fragrant with lavender, and take it for granted? James, I... It's something that we, none of us took for granted, and, and uh, every jump, I'm, I was looking to how do I improve my skill, what do I do, you know, how can I do it better? Uh, so all of that, you know, we, we had to keep in mind. To keep something in mind is an English idiom which means to remember some information or advice and consider it at some point in the future. For example, the judge told the jury to listen to all the evidence carefully and keep it in mind when making their decision. You know, how can I do it better? Uh, so all of that, you know, we, we had to keep in mind. Once we got that last take, that was a wrap. We finished the movie. And, and we don't get a chance to come back and get it again. So I just... The idiom, it's a wrap or that's a wrap is used when the filming of a movie or a TV show is finished. At that last take, that was a wrap. We finished the movie. I think that it's, that is, that is the greatest feeling and why I think I'm addicted to movies. It is, it is something where you're working with enormously talented people in every department um, that want to entertain that audience. They all Now, enormous can be used as an adjective to describe something very large in size, quantity, or extent. For example, the elephant looked enormous as it walked towards us. It can also be used as an adverb by adding ly to mean extremely or very much. For example, the TV show Friends was enormously popular in the 90s. It is, it is something where you're working with enormously talented people in every department. So there we have it guys, another video done for you there, and I hope you learned lots of new phrases and vocabulary. Now, if you're new to this channel, why not check out some of my other videos, but also subscribe for more great content. Once again guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.